-huh. uh, I, I had um, three more technicians for, for this term, for okay. this schedule, but they are out to the company, change, change the company. Really? You're yes. Yeah, yes. And I have a new technician, but they don't know how to work at night. Yeah. For the reason I I I have to cover this this yeah. But uh, the good notice is oh uh, yeah, the good news is that they learning with me. I teach teach oh, that's good. Teach uh, them. Yeah. Okay. For for this this special. Yeah. This is the reason that I work in. Oh, but it's not yeah. always. Uh, or it's not. No, no. My my schedule is in the morning. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, always. But for <laughs> for the situation, I'm staying here right now. And the <laughs> problem is, I really like. I don't want to lose the class. But sometimes, like yesterday. When uh, I, uh, I I forgot my my computer, when I I came home with my computer, <laughs> yeah. and I have to use the my the computer that I have in my office, but oh. this computer don't have a camera and don't have okay. microphone, nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. and I can and I can use it. And then the another situation is that I have to fix. Some problem that I in the machine yesterday. Mm, okay, but I'm here and I will to and I will try to 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 do the the, the homework. It's good to see you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I haven't heard you, Rolando. Glad to have you here tonight. Thank okay. you, teacher. No problem. How was your day? Your well, guess? I'm fine. I'm fine, but. I'm working, yeah, right now. But I'm I'm here, and I will try to, <laughs> to stay all class with with yours. Okay, no problem. Well, nice I, and I and I finished the homework. I don't have group. Um, uh, Jenny, call me. Fine. If you well, want, Jenny. and if the teacher give us the permission, you can. Participate with us. Hey, no problem. That's great. That's great. Very nice. Thank yeah. you, Yanni. Yeah, no problem. Good great. Good great time. And good evening, everyone. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome, right? That's good teamwork. Good teamwork, right? Looking out for the rest. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Yeah, no problem. You can participate with them. I'm looking for my my INSA for notebook. I just don't. Yeah, but uh, you can participate with them. I just have to find. Mm -hmm. I guess I could not notice. All right. Let me see, Jennifer, you were in group three, right? With uh. With Freddy's, right? And Flor. I'm four. Group four? All right. Let's see. Okay. So who was group number three? Was was that you, Janari? You group number three? Janari? I have one here. Yes, yes, teacher. Right. Uh, with uh, Juan Jose. Yeah, with Juan Jose and Jackie, right? Okay, so group number one, Abigail, Beatriz, Carlos. Group number two, Blanca, Diana, Francisco, and Iris. Group number three, Jackie, Juan Jose, Janari. Four is Flor, Freddy's, and Jennifer, right? And Rolando will be added to that group. And group number five was going to be Jarvin and Fabio, right? Okay, let's 
Let me hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so today's Friday already, right? Any yes, plans for the weekend? Any any plans? Yes. yes. Go to check uh, because I I got it a problem with uh, internet. Mm, I need okay. to check it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, um, last Friday that we were here last Friday, uh, what was the price for Bitcoin? What was the price? 53, right? Or something like that. 53. What is it today, Freddy's? I think right now it's on 61. Mm -hmm. 61. All right. So that's more than a thousand a day, right? More than a thousand a day. All right. More than a thousand, right? Okay. I hope some of you are making money. And if you're thinking about it, right? Uh, maybe you can keep thinking about it, right? <laughs> she went down. <laughs> it went down a little bit. It went down a little bit, right? Yeah, you understand it fluctuates, right? It goes yeah. up and then it might go down and then it'll go back up again. Yeah. It's going down. Why, why is it going down? Because what, what is the tendency? Do you remember what we talked before about uh, business? If it goes down, it means people are withdrawing, right? They're money, withdrawing. Money. Yeah, withdrawing the money. When it's going up is when people are buying. When people are buying. Right? Okay, I hope Brazil in a few months makes it legal also so the price of Bitcoin will go up more, 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 more. All right, let's see. All right, class, I'm going to share screen with you of what we're going to do. Okay. Can you read, please, Rolando? Okay. Unit four, loyalty. Brand uh, awareness, mm -hmm. speaking groups, eight ways to get customer at uh, uh, eight ways to get customer attention, attention, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Groups, activities, group, Friday, group, 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 sorry, group activities. Friday, October 15th. Mm -hmm. um, 15th. 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 Uh, 2021. Teacher, Mr. Henry, Intermediate 3, class 22. Very good. Class 22, right? 22. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We only have four more, right? Three more to finish and then the makeup class which would be Thursday, makeup class. Now, um, that's going to be the agenda for today. We're going to do those activities pertaining to your module, on your manual on page, um, where is it? I'm thinking about advancing a little bit also, on page 34, that was the activity from yesterday, right? Page 34, we're also going to look at the eight ways we're going to read that the eight ways to get customer attention when we're talking about brand and um let's try to do the pyramid on page 38 on page 38 of your book page 38 and then if we have time we can do page 39 if we have time now remember you're probably saying hey teacher what happened to page 30 35, and 36, right? 37. Those are the topics for Monday, right? For Monday, Monday and Tuesday, according to the uh, the agenda for INSA4. That's how they have it, right? Let me check. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, let me see. I have someone here in the chat. Can I get anything to this day? I'm finishing some time. I'm working on fire. So I said, try to stay. Okay. Let me see. No 
problem. Okay. Okay, uh, Diana. Okay, we we got communication right there. Thank you. Thank you for notifying me. All right. Uh, let's continue here. I'm going to take the the first attendance. Okay, the first attendance. Okay, Abigail. Abigail. Okay. Not here in class. Beatriz. Beatriz. All right. Not here in class. Blanca. Blanca. Present. Okay. All right. Brenda. Brenda. Okay. Not here in class. Carlos. Present teacher. I'm All here. Right. All right. Very good. Diana. Diana, I know you're there. You just told me. All right, let me see. Uh, yes. Uh, Edwin. Edwin. Present. All right. Present teacher. Thank you. Flor. Present. All right, great. Let me see. Francisco. Good evening, present teacher. Okay, great. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right. Glenda. Hello, present. All right. Iris. Present teacher. All right. Jackie. Jackie. Okay, not here in class. Um, Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, not here in class. Jennifer. Here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, not here. Fabio. Present. All right, thank you. Rolando. Are you right there with the light? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> All right, yes. All right, let me see. And finally, Janari. I'm here. Okay, great. Teacher, oh. good evening. Hi. Hello? Hello, Jackie's here. Ah, here. <laughs> yes, teacher. All right, I got you, Jackie. Cuando la llamé no estaba, pero I'll put you present, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Ya que está Thank aquí. You. Ok, no problem. Um, who else is here? ¿Quién más entró tarde? Que ya llamé su nombre y no le he puesto. Ok, let's go. Only Jackie? Ok. All right. Let me see. All right. Let me... Share screen again. Now, yesterday, you were you were doing this activity in groups, right? In groups. Now, um, let me see. Are you ready? Yes. Janari said no. Fabio said yes. yes. Sir. All right. Are you ready? All right. So let me, let me sacar mi cuadernito para anotar los participantes. All right. All right. So group number one. It was Abigail, Beatriz, mm -hmm. and Carlos, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, remember that I asked you um, to divide the activity into 
however way I want it to present it, right? however way you want it to present it, which means you decide which part you were going. Let me put this right here. You decided as a group which part you were going to do, all right? Now, I hope you, you are ready. Let's see, who is going first out of group yes. number one? Me is uh, number one. Okay, go ahead, Carlos. Yes. Let me take some. Okay. Only let okay. me get my page. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yes, like, okay, for example, uh, one strategy that never I use, it could be, for example, give a high price, but in high quality, it could be. Okay. Yeah. And for example, for the... Los Boston ice cream, Boston ice cream. <laughs> mm -hmm. It could be, for example, a, a buy to a lower price and high quality. I think it could be. Okay, very good. Yes, and yes, um, we were talking about a, another brand, but. I don't remember the the name. Ah, is Sarita. Okay. Sarita. Sarita, this ice cream uh, are cheaper than than Neveria. Maybe the strategy could could be sell products with high price and high quality. Too. All right. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yeah. And the, the second question, maybe it could be, the answer could be, for example, we were talking about Apple, right? So it could be, for example, uh, bring a, a faster computers in a high, high quality. Okay, high quality. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. In the second, in this, yes, is the, I don't remember very well about the clinics. Okay. Yeah. All right, but uh, did you decide who was going to be second? Let me see. Abigail and Beatriz, right? Were your other classmates? Were your other partners? Uh, no sé si está Beatriz aquí porque no estaba cuando yo me asistencia. So I don't know. Yes, let me check. I'm here. Ah, let yeah, me see. And, but I remember the first sentence. Oh, only the three sentences. I, I don't remember very well. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay, Carlos. All right, good job, Carlos. Thank you. All right, is Abigail or Be I think I heard Beatriz, right? Are you going to continue, Beatriz? Yes, I'm going to explain about clinics. Okay, let me write your name, Beatriz. Go ahead, Beatriz. Let me, let me share a screen. All right, let me stop here and okay. give you, um, there you go. <laughs> well, uh, can you explain what Clinis is? Well, Clinis is a company that provides uh, several products about several products such as paper towels, uh, toilet paper, 
a disposable handkerchief. This company we consider is an um, eco-friendly company. So that is because they sell all about paper. All right, okay. Yes. And the last one question is what movie theater is your favorite? Well, we choose cinema. We choose cinema because we consider uh, this movie theater provide or give to your customers different promotions. They introduce uh, promotions. The idea is, is to, to visit this movie city. You can find when you visit this movie city, uh, the newest movies, uh, comfortable rooms, and you can find spacious rooms too, and our chairs. So we consider a cinema is our favorite because you can find in different shopping centers. <laughs> so you can you can go to buy some products to the shopping centers and after you go to, to the movie theater. All right, great, great, well done, very good. Uh, Beatriz, the word is spacious, spacious. spacious. Very good, right. excellent, well done. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, let me continue here. Good job. All right. So Abigail is not here. Not that you know, right? Okay. Okay, group number one with Carlos and Beatriz. Okay, great. Good job. Group number two, Blanca. Uh, okay. Diana asked for permission. Okay, so Blanca, Francisco, and Iris. Okay, Blanca, Francisco, and... Mm, no, I was with Diana. Yes. Diana, yeah. Yeah, but she okay. is not going to participate right now, Blanca. Okay. Okay, okay. So it's, it's just you, Francisco, and Iris. Uh, yes. Okay. okay. I <clears throat> well, I start the. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, we select. Um, for example, a uh, for the ice creams. Um, uh, Dos aritas. Uh, I, if, I don't know if you some if you sometimes you are testing this kind of ice cream. Uh, however, when I I go whatever uh, store for the sarita, see the the portion is uh, large. Uh, between the other place, uh, I mean, res with respect to the Neveria, they mm -hmm. have a, <clears throat> a logo or um, um, the Jingo Seria teacher. The what? Uh, a, a slogan. The slogan. The, Sarita, the, the slogan. Uh -huh, the slogan to, pardon, to the Neveria is uh, always something new. Or maybe every day two products for for the price of one. Okay. Mm, in the case, the Boston, uh, ice cream Boston, uh, I, I think the uh, the one the the, the the reason the Boston the 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 sales because is because the they don't know enough 
Who will listen? Actually, boss, uh, ice cream Boston is no enough knowing in, in, in other cities. I I see uh, only in, in the cabecera departamentales. Okay, in the head departments. In, in the head the, departments. Yes. Okay, in 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 other countries, they don't have uh, uh stores. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, very good, very good. Remember that when you say the Boston is off, off, off. Of Boston. Yes, off, off, off La Neveria, right? Okay, very good, very good, Francisco. Great. Now, if, who's going next? Are you going to continue or is Blanca? Who's, well, I'm going to explain the clinics. Okay, great. Uh, the clinics, uh, it's a brown for a variety of paper based products. We already know about clinics, right? Because when we talk about uh, the brand, we immediately think about the paper tissues, right? The paper fascial tissues. So it's a brand that it burned early in the 1920s. And it's become a brand that we don't, we don't have to search about it because we know the the product that they they sell um, i don't know it, well the the brand it has a a trademark in it, it's an application at the united states patent uh, and they have a lot of, of distribution well, they, they, they distribute their products uh, around the world. So everybody knows about it. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's very popular, right? It's well yeah. known. Okay, is that it, Blanca? Great, awesome. Okay, so let me write your name, uh, Francisco and Blanca. Iris, are you going to participate? Yes. Okay, great. I... I talk about the movie theater. Okay. Um, between Cinepolis and Cinemark, I prefer Cinepolis because they have some sound is more sound more expand, exciting, and they have three D technology, comfortable seats, or arm ar chairs. Arm chairs. Arm chairs. All right. They have the larger screens and you can enjoy big experience. Is it is the the last lounge, the last lounge there, and there are many good promotions. For example, you can celebrate your your birthday and in 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 the uh, area of sun sun of the cinema uh, or or you can pay for for dining or the uh, sala cine teacher how do you say okay uh, you so you're saying that you can pay whenever is your birthday and it will be a private it will be like a private section for for you and your friends and everyone. Uh yes, you you pay you can pay a special a special section for for your 
for your friends, for example. And it's a good, good promotion. And it's of the, the, it's because the, it's my preferred movie theater. Okay. So you probably, you can say for the La Sala, you mentioned something about the Sala, right? Now, right there, I'm a little, like I'm trying to figure out, you mean La Sala outside the theater or inside the theater? Inside the theater. Oh, the... Okay. So you can get the, the uh, theater lounge, if you, you can say it, all right? <laughs> You can say the lounge, right? Because it's it's enclosed. If it would be like outside, you can say the hall, right? The hall, the theater hall. But in this case, it's the lounge, which is the inside. Okay. Lounge. Do you want me to? It's como como salon or something. It's enclosed. And I will write it for you. I will send it to you here. It is. Can you? Who has screen right here? Francisco. Can you write here this word for Iris? L O U. Or I can give it to you. L O. Can you just write it anywhere for me, please? Okay. All right. L O U N G E. Okay. L O U. Okay. Sure. Okay, it is L O U N G E. Okay. All right. Lounge, lounge, yes. lounge. Lounge, lounge. All right. It's like a, a an enclosed area, como un salon, like a, like an area like that, right? For a theater, you can use it for a theater also, right? Or in case for a big event, whenever you go to a big party. And they have like a big sala on the dalan comida. That's a lounge too. All right. That's a lounge too. That's a lounge. Okay. Um, let me see. Don't worry about it, Francisco. It, it, Don't worry about it. it. I already gave it to her. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Okay. Next group. Let me. Can you, all right, great. Let me see, next group. All right, here it is right here. Okay, there it is for the class to see also, right? That's like a, an area where, como salon, but it's, it's enclosed, all right? Then you have a hall when you go to a theater right where you go those are the halls hall or in plural halls los pasillos right the aisles halls teacher yes are there any different if you say lunch and room is the same or is different okay well when you say room in, you don't know what type of room, right? A lounge is more for entertainment, right? Right? It's the, es como decir un salón grande y un cuarto, right? Como que, right? It's like salón is más como entrenamiento. It's more for entertainment, and a room is just room, un cuarto, right? A room, no cambia. It's just a cuarto, right? Classroom. Bedroom, living room, right? The room. But these are like, they are for different uh, area. Halls are just pasillos, right? Now, just so I can give you extra vocabulary. How do you call the ones when you go to the store? Tienen su nombre también, aunque no lo crean, if you believe it or not. Los pasillos de las tiendas. What do you call those in English? Does anyone know? I don't know, teacher. All right. Oh, no, teacher. What's what's the name? All right. They're called 
aisles, right? And I want someone to, I'm going to ask someone, I'm going to give you the pronunciation, aisles. And then I want someone to go figure out, ya que nadie, nobody could find it, I'm going to give you that, como like a little challenge, right? I'm going to give you the pronunciation, aisles, aisles, que son las, if you ever go to the United States and you go to like a big supermarket, como si un super select, right? Or a Walmart. And you go into Walmart and you hear on the speaker, in the, in the speaker, right? And someone spills water, right? Someone bought the lounge, right? Hey, somebody has to go pick it up, right? And they say, uh, clean up or maintenance or janitor aisle two, aisle two. Vamos a ver quién lo puede encontrar. Ayo. <laughs> Ayo oh. too. Así habla. That's the way you will see it over there. Ay, it's pasillo. Ajá. A, uh -huh. a I S L E. All right. I want someone else to go look for it. Repeat it, please, for the class. A I S L E. All right. Aisle, right? You probably have never heard of that word, right? Algo nuevo que hasta algo like, what? It's similar to island, right? It's almost similar como decir isla, island. No se pronuncia la S. Aisle. Y se lo voy a poner aquí para que salgan de la duda. Miren esta palabra. Very, very common in the United States. Aisle, right? You can see them in, in, a, in a plane. Se usa también la palabra in a plane. In, for example, if you're in a plane, aisle three, aisle four, right? Las líneas de, de los asientos. Those are aisles also. You can also use aisles, for example, um, que me ven a la mente, come on. Um, eh, in church, eh, probably, where you have aisles of chairs in... Maybe in a, in a theater, can be mentioned, it is a theater, right? You can also use the word aisle. When you get the ticket, dice fila, o no sé cómo está en español aquí, right? I can't remember. Tienen las, están numeradas o con letras, right? If I'm not mistaken. Eso es, in English, they're called aisles. Aisles. Lo voy a poner en plural. Aisles. Let me just give you extra vocabulary that is related to what it is mentioned about theaters, right? Aisle. So if you say, if you go to a dollar city or a dollar, dollar, dollar store, they'll say aisle two. You ask them, hey, where's the super glue? Aisle three, aisle four, right? Okay, let's continue. Now we're just giving you extra vocabulary. All right, next, next group. Next group. Yes, that's group number three, right? Exactly. Okay, good evening, teacher and classmates. We're group number three. We're composed by the... Oh, I thought you said you were group number four. No, <laughs> we're composed by Rolando, Jennifer, Flor, and my person. All right, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Great. What well, example for ice cream produced locally? Actually, in where I live, in my in my hometown is La Neveria, Saritas, and Tasty. La Neveria, they're, they're actually their promotions. It's, let's say, it's a, like, you buy, I, I think it's, you buy two, you get one, or you buy one and you get the second one half price. And you could see billboards anywhere with their promotions. Saritas, they're more popular like by their taste. There's a strawberry cheese ice cream. I don't know if you, anyone has tasted it has a good I have, taste. I have. Yes. So they know more like by their taste. And tasty is like more popular because you could find it actually everywhere if the ice cream man goes by your by your house or your neighborhood selling, you can easily get the tasty ice cream. 
it's, it's like the most common ice cream. And well, for me, I think that will be it. And I think it's gonna continue Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Okay, Freddy. Yes. Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer. Is she here? Let me check. I will, I will. Yes, teacher. Just teacher. Okay, Jenny. Okay, go ahead, okay. Jenny. I will talk about clinics. It's used to identify different products like disposable wipes, tissues, tissues, toilet paper, and the brand belongs to the company Kimberly Clark. Many people use the brand to refer any tissues. Imagine that it's sold in more than 100 countries and it was used at the beginning to clean up the face or clean makeup or cream. But by customer suggestion, the company started to selling for coal. And the slogan was, don't carry a coal in your pocket. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. You finished? Just a check. All right. Great. Great. Call in your pocket, right? Okay. I'm don't, next teacher. Don't carry a call in your pocket was the slogan in 1924. All right. Great. Thank you. Great research, Jennifer. Good job. Thanks. Okay. Go ahead. Continue, Rolando. Okay. Um, I will talk about uh, what's the name of a computer, computer company identified by a particular fruit. The name is Apple. Uh, Apple this is a, a very famous uh, brand for its variety of computers. One of them is the Mac Pro, the MacBook Pro 13. Uh, Apple brand is a brand recognized for manufacturing computers, specialized in graphic design and photography. Um, with a with a variety prices according our requirement. Actually, in my show, uh, we use this kind of computers. All right, all right. Great for for the for when we need to to work with that photograph. All right. Yeah, yeah they, they work really good with that, right? Okay. Yes. yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rolando, for your participation. Let me put your name right here. All right, great. Okay, Freddy, Jennifer, Rolando, and uh, Flor. Yes, uh, we was talking about theaters. And between Cinemark and Cinepolis, we prefer Cinemark mm. because they have more schedules, they have more variety of food. The staff is free and leered, and the lounge are more comfortable. The quality of the screens, the quality of the sum is better. And additional, they have VIP lounges that include the box shares, which can throw, um, turn, and be rate. So for us, they have better technology. All right, very good, very good uh, analysis there. Thank you, Flor. All right, very good. Let me add your name right here. Okay, great, awesome. Okay, group, you're finished, excellent. Next group, Jackie, Juan Jose, and Janari. And then we have one more after that. Okay. And... Uh, the, the first uh, question was, uh, what are examples of ice cream produced locally? Well, uh, the other group say similar things, but uh, we, ha we choose uh, La Neveria, and we, we, want, we have to talk about La Neveria, Soritas, and Boston. Uh, La Neverilla and Sarita eh, have eh, 
a specific strategy then is you can buy the franc franchise i don't know if it's correct teacher franchise Fran Fran okay Fran franchise franchise, franchise. Yeah, thank you. Franchise, you can buy uh, a franchise. Uh, is the the strategy that have uh, in, uh, those those uh, brand Neveria and Sarita because you can find in in other in in, in wherever place a uh, gas station like gas station and pharma pharmacy and. Uh, Super, other supermarket and, and little store. And about uh, La Deveria, other strategies, strategies that have is uh, are uh, you can you can buy uh, two products uh, uh, for one. Is the other strategies. And uh, when I say it's very easy to find ice cream. Whatever you you uh, you can uh, find it uh, the social media network publicity uh, too and uh, season ice cream has uh, season ice cream like mango or watermelon or, or other uh, fruit for example fruit uh, of season and the three, the three mark, uh, sorry, the three brands uh, are the similar, similar uh, strategy. It's all about the ice cream. Okay, very good, very good. Good job, uh, Janari. Okay, next one. Franchise. Uh, you know, some people making good money with those franchises. Uh, never I think, and you have you have uh, you have can pay uh, to the owner, to the owner of the brand, uh, for per uh, profit, per profit. Mm, okay. It's a, a, per, a percent. Okay. Thank you, Yanari, for that info. Okay, and next part, next part will be, who's next? Is it uh, Juan Jose? Okay, Jackie. Okay, um, well, talk about Apple, Apple's strategies, and it's an interesting topic. Apple products strategies, strategies sorry, involve creating innovative, innovative a products and service. Apple has a branding strategy that focuses on the emotions. And the Apple brand personality is also about lifestyle, imagination, liberty, and power to the people through technology. And wait, they focus on value, not in prices. And to talk about Kleenex, well, it's a, it's a brand term used to identify many products, uh, such as um, paper, as the other partner said before, um, bathroom tissues, paper towels, and others. It also, it's a generic term for any type of disposable tissue. Okay, very good. That disposable. Is, uh, disposable. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know. Juan Jose is going to tell us about uh, movie theater. Okay, let's hear what Juan Jose is going to say. Juan Jose? Okay. Um, about the um, movie theater. Um, um, in specific, uh, in San Salvador, there are two um, cinemas more popular. There are an, another, but uh, two cinemas more, more popular, um, Cinemark and Cinepolis. Uh, some people, and I too, uh, prefer Cinemark. 
uh, cause is more comfortable. Uh, and they have um, promotion like two people for one price. Um, I think that Cinepolis is two, but I don't remember. But um, uh, cinema, yes, um, usually with day, days. Uh, you can accumulate poem if to use frequently. Uh, mm -hmm. After you change uh, for cookies, candies, or ring, but in general, uh, both are are excellent. And the promotion in um, uh, uh, for cinema, uh, for example, when there are some premiere. Uh, there are in candies ring uh, 20 20 feet percent during uh, years um, to uh, for books little books for children have a uh, 40 percent too and they have another another uh, promotion. For example, to uh, you can choose for product in one uh, almost during during uh, a year. For example, in since March until now, they they uh, have that uh, promotion for product in one. And maybe there are um, another promotion, but uh, for that I prefer uh, Cinemark. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, awesome. Let me put your name right here. Oh, we'll see. Very good, excellent. All right, uh, last group was just Jarvin and Fabio. Okay, I think. I don't know if Jarvin is here. He's here. I haven't seen him. Let me let me see the full screen here. Let me see Jarvin, 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 Jarvin. Nope, he's not okay. here. So I guess you can do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the first, what are example of ice cream products locally? Uh, we have here that we have uh, we have uh, Sarita, La Neveria, and El Sin Rival. For Sarita, the the strategy for us we think is uh, they have a cheaper and delicious ice cream. The Neveria have a lot of promotion and brand awareness in all media. The Neveria is one of the the ice cream producers that have more ads in all the media. I have ice cream <laughs> there almost everywhere. And the last one, Elsin Rival. For me, I, I, I have placed this uh, ice cream. They started is making, um, how did this, uh, traditional ice cream, uh, like uh, the one, how we say, it? the traditional one, we see it in Carreton, I don't know. <laughs> Would they make uh, that way ice cream that way and they have a franchise they are in a lot of places but uh, the yeah the, the strategy they use to separate them with uh, the other ice cream uh, producers the other ice cream companies is they make a uh, traditional ice cream for the second one what's the name of a computer company identified by a, a particular fruit it's apple that's <laughs> Without error, uh, they have a good quality product, a very high brand awareness, and the Apple design. They design a better customer experience. Uh, I I don't have one Apple, but I hear that almost all people that have one always want to have the other and the other and the other. <laughs> <laughs> it may it may be a, a good customer experience for day to one. <laughs> All the the phones they launch. <laughs> yes, right. I'm pretty sure. For the third one, can you explain what a Kleenex is? Uh, Kleenex, for what I well, for what we know, is a brand name consisting in lots of uh, healthcare tissues. 
This include the uh, fascial tissues, some bathroom papers, and lot of lot of uh, related tissues of course in, in fascial and other health care, including in some cleaning. Uh, we well for this just for a little more information, we almost we almost always um uh, what was this? Uh, confuse the word Kleenex with all the facial tissues. I have seen some people say, uh, got me, uh, pass me that, that Kleenex, but it's another brand of facial tissues. So. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's used universally, right? Yeah, universally. for all the facial tissues. And that's what we talked last class that. Uh, when people have in mind one brand, but it's like, we, we see a product and the first thing that comes into mind is that brand name. <laughs> <laughs> and for the last one, what's your favorite movie theater? In our case, it's cinema, uh, because for what we have seen, they have more beer rooms or lunch. Uh, they have these special shares called d box that have a special movement movement with movies effect. And for personal experience, they have a very good customer the treatment. And this is because uh, one time we passed almost 45 minutes of a movie, but it was a very bad movie. <laughs> so we <laughs> get out of the lounge and we ask if we can, we doesn't matter. We have already in our mind that we don't that we will wouldn't get a refund or they wouldn't change our room but they tell us they can make an exemption exemption exception and they give us uh, another pass for another movie that the same day we have to see it in the same time but they change our movie well, that's we great. yeah so we that's for what i haven't seen <laughs> all right great yeah so it's always good to share good experiences right the good experiences and and if they have good customer service right in your case it will be a treatment right good customer treatment for you and you mentioned something about using clinics universally right for everything clinic the same way we categorize everyone that we see as asian what do we say uh fabio Oh, a Chinese, China, right? China, but we have Koreans. You have people from Japan, um, Vietnam, from Taiwan. Right? Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia, right? And we categorize everyone as Chinese, right? As Chinese. Let me see. Kind of like if you if you go to the United States, they don't say Salvadorian. They categorize everyone as as a Mexican, right? Yeah. So if you go and say they don't say the Salvadorian or or the Costa Rican or the Guatemalan, right? They say Mexican, Mexican for everyone, right? And the word you used earlier, Fabio, was carreton. Car. Right? Okay, That's cart. Right. You car. can say food cart, ice cream cart, right? In relation to that type of carreton, because it could be a food cart where they make tacos also, right? So in your case would be ice cream cart, right? They also have different types of carts. All right, very good, very good. Thank you for concluding everything. Let me stop share. And I'm going to take the second attendance. The second attendance. Okay, Abigail. Abigail, okay, no answer. Beatriz. Present. Okay, great. Blanca. Blanca. Okay, I Hello. see. Hello. All right, great. Thank you. Hello. All right. Brenda. Blanca. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All right, Brenda. Okay, no answer. Let me see. Carlos. I'm here to hear. Okay, great. Let me see. All right, Diana. Okay, Edwin. Still here, teacher. Present. All right, thank you. Flor. 
Present. Okay. Francisco? Present. All right, great. Present. Thank you. Freddy? I'm here, teacher. Great. Glenda? Present, teacher. Okay. Iris? Iris? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Do, 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 do. Jackie. Present. Okay, great. And Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, still not here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right. Juan Jose. I am here. Okay, I'm thank here. you. <laughs> yeah, nice and fresh, huh? Let me see. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, not here. Mm, Fabio. Present. Okay, great. Rolando. I'm here. All right. And Janari. I'm here. All right, great. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, 17. Okay, 17. Okay, class. Now. Let's continue. Now we did this part right here, you did it in groups. And now I'm going to show you, like I showed you at the beginning here, we're going to do the eight ways or some stages to gain more attention for your business. Gain more attention for your business. Now I'm going to call on eight of you. These are short. Okay, what I want you to do is read. Number one, read and analyze. Okay, read and analyze. Analyze. Who wants to read first? Tip number one. Me. Okay, go ahead, Rolando. Thank you. Tip number one. Partner, partner with like mm, minded business. Mm, minded. Mind minded. Minded business. Businesses. Businesses. Very okay. Good. Partner with like my mind of businesses. That's all very good. When you when you partner with like mm, mm, mind of <laughs> Monday businesses, you open up opportunities to attract more customers than not partnering with a, a one. Mm, anyone. It should be anyone. Ah. Hold on. Anyone. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. All right. With anyone. It, with anyone. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Rolando. So here we're talking about partnering, right? In your business. It's not always to think in a in a solitary way. In other ways, in other words, just by yourself. It's always good to partner with. That doesn't mean you you just join two businesses together. No, that means you you affiliate yourself. Okay, you affiliate yourself, and we see it here in in this country, right? Where a lot of a lot of companies they affiliate with one another, and they do recommendations or discounts if you go to their um, business. And that's what it means with like-minded businesses. In other words, we think the same. We think positive. We think in a progressive manner. We think in innovation. We think in technology, right? You cannot, right, Fabio? You think about it. If you partner with someone, let's say you want to like affiliate yourself with another company. Hey, let, let's let's help each other as businesses, right? I send you customers where where you need uh, in this topic. You know, where the company might not have find in my company, but can find in your company, right? And then you do the same for me. Right. Hey, well, you can go to Henry's, right? You can go to Henry's store. He has it over there. And I can say, okay, go to Fabio. But what will happen if Fabio or myself, I'm going to put myself as, as an example. I don't want to innovate, innovate. I don't want to, to communicate with other businesses. Would I work for you, Fabio, in a good relationship? No, right? <laughs> you're going to be like I don't even ni vencas, right? Don't even come, right? So that's that's the difference between like-minded businesses is what you think in a progressive manner, right? Innovation, technology, 
those types of things. Okay, um, number two, thank you, Rolando. Number two, Flor. Tip number two, strengthen your brand impressions. Mm, strengthen, strengthen. Strengthen. Okay. Strengthen. Your brand, yes, impression. Okay, strengthen. Com strengthen. Strengthen. Yes, oh, good job, good pronunciation. Okay, strengthen your brand impressions. Companies should, such as Nike, who is recognized for their simple yet bold logo and catchy slogan. Just do it. Just do it, right? Tomás Aslo, right? Just do it, right? That is the slogan for Nike, right? Or some people can pronounce it Nike, right? So here is a slogan, just do it. Just do it, right? Um, let me see. Okay, Janari, you can do number four. Okay, thank you for asking. Number three. Can I teacher number three? Yes. Me teacher. <laughs> Go ahead, right? Hey, that's good, right? Yeah, that's what I want, right? Yeah, me, 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 right? Very good. Okay, do number three. Go good teacher, me. Uh, I think it was Jackie, right? Or me. Right? I think you're next, okay? You can do, you can be, you can do the next one, but I think I have a chat okay. here. Okay, teacher. Go ahead, Jackie. Okay, thank you. Uh, tip number three, create original content. Time and time again, marketing experts tell folks, tell folks the same thing. Content is gold. The reason for this is that content helps businesses to generate more search engine results, offers a connection between consumers and brands. Deliver valuable, mm, valuable, 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 thank you, valuable information that may not otherwise have the opportunity to be shared in a strength, a strength in mm -hmm. a overall brand awareness. Okay, awareness, awareness, awareness. very good, right? Awareness. So very good, very good. Here is just giving an advice, right? It's un consejo, basically, right? Well, it's really a tip, right? But it says create original content, all right? Create original content. Content that goes with your business. Be as original as possible. Unique is another word you can use. Unique means just your your way your words your company all right so here it says content is gold if you have good content or good slogans or good uh, um, advertisements it's gold it's oro right well but right away right the it's gold gold will always be gold right it always shines right and it's not many people here wear gold in this country but Gold is seen as like, boom, the best, right? The best. And what are folks? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? What does this mean? Folks. F-O-L-K-S. Thanks. Okay. Any other person? What is folks? Folks. Teacher. Uh-huh. Is it false when you re when you you're referring to a person? Exactly, right? You're referring to a person or people, right? Person or people, right? So when you're referring to people, you can use the slogan folks, right? Folks is an American word, although it's not used in all the states in the United States, but it's it can be used as saying people. All the folks are here, right? So you can use that word in case you do not know it. It's another word that translates to people or a person. Let me see. Thank you, Freddy's. Okay, let's continue. Teacher, 
teacher three, I have a question. This is la as, for example, as you as. Excuse me? Pardon? Folks, fo folks is really similar like you as us. Yes, like uh, you can use it as an object, okay? As an object pronoun like us, all right? It's used as, yeah, I mean, you can refer to us as people, yes, but you cannot use that word folks as an object pronoun, okay? It, it won't work like that, Francisco, all right? When you say people, um, folks is a noun, right? And us is object. So you cannot use it to substitute, okay? All right? Okay, teacher, thank you. All right. Let me see. Okay, continue. Uh, I think it was Janari with number four, right? Yes, Janari? teacher. All right, and then uh, Jennifer, you can finish. Janari? Okay. Tip number four, share relevant content. Creating content is one thing, sharing it is another. Whether you aim to share original content or not, sharing content in general is important. There are many channels in which you can do this, including Via is correct, teacher? Yes. Via? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Via your own business blog through social media as a con contributor. Contributor? Yes. Uh, to other websites and through email marketing. Very good. Yeah. All right. Great. Remember, this is via is, is I think it's a Latin word. Okay. Una palabra latín. So therefore it doesn't change via, right? Via, so it's pronounced the same in Spanish and English. Very good, Janari, excellent. Okay, so here we're talking about sharing relevant content. Relevant means relevante, all right? So it's another Latin word. Relevant content. It's always good to share, to share. It, it, this in the business world here in this country, I have noticed this is my own point of view, este mi punto de vista, okay? There's a lot of envy. Does anyone know what the word envy means? Esta palabra. Envy. Envidia. Yes, yeah. very good, right? There's a lot of envy that I have seen in the economic sector of this country, okay? And when someone tries to, not everywhere, right? But I have seen some sections where if they see someone making it better or doing something different, they criticize. They are quick to criticize, right? Or they want the person to fall so that way they will be the only one in the market, right? Selling products and stuff like that. But in this case, you are sharing your, your, um, your content. In other words, although it's yours, but you're sharing your ideas and maybe others are going to make it better and give you that ability to say, you know what? I'm going to make it even better, right? So it, 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 it becomes into an innovative movement for innovation to create new things. Imagine, imagine if everything was the same. Imagine that, right? where there will be like different ideas, sharing different ideas, then we will have a dull, dull market, right? A dull market. This means no increase. No increase, uh, maybe in, a, in the economic sector, we call it, uh, we call it, aquí en esa le llamamos PIB, right? Uh, bruto, uh, bruto interno, right? So it's, if we don't innovate, we never, we are never going to grow, right? And 
that's what it's always good to share relevant content, things that can help another company or help yourself also, right? Good tips and good advice. Good advice. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Tip number five, strength your website quality. Okay. Branding is like... Strengthen, strengthen. Strengthen your website quality. Branding, just like first impression made among individuals, happens in just seconds. Okay, so here, strengthen your website quality. So how many, how many of you, you're going to continue, Jennifer, you're going to do six also, okay? For, for your patience, for waiting, okay? You're going to read okay. for six. But can someone give me your opinion? into a, a business or a company or any business around your neighborhood where you feel that their website quality is good or whether you think the website quality is bad can someone uh, how many of you go online and look at companies and check to see yeah. Uh huh, Janari, we hear you. Friend, friend. I, I well, have seen two websites from some pharmacies. Okay. There is one that is so good, but it's more expensive, maybe because they invest more in their website. Because when you see the the medicines, they the appear a uh, description of the medicine of appeal or appeal, but in the other use appear the name of the medicine and the price. All right. Okay. Very good. But the medicines are more are cheaper. Okay, they're cheaper. Okay. All right. So you have different different ways here right one you can see very good but expensive the other one is cheaper right uh, all right okay thank you jennifer for your information for your input okay janari you mentioned freon or something what did you say yeah, yeah. Uh, the website freon website i think is very cool uh, in, in my opinion is uh, very complete but we because we have to do to find uh, <clears throat> whatever thing about your house, your construction, the, the construction, and, and other things about your home. And the price, uh, I think, uh, is um, in, some, in some products, uh, are more cheaper than uh, are cheaper than other um, other business like Epa or like three, I think. Okay, great, great. <clears throat> Thank you, Janet. Have you noticed? Excuse me. Have you noticed about Freo? What she was talking about Freo? Actually, if you see the the materials that they sell or the items. Actually, the price they don't actualize is like, let's say maybe they they actualize it like every month because sometimes I see the price on the website and when I go to the store I see any other price. So sometimes it's cheaper when you go to the store than you buy it online. Mm, yes, yes, that's true. That's true. That's true. Right when it's online, I think they put a little bit higher. <laughs> maybe a dollar more right? <laughs> or two or three right <laughs> oh, yeah all right thank you uh, Freddy's okay Jennifer continue tip number six make your website mobile friendly as if keeping your website up to up to date and well branded wasn't enough it's also critical to have a strong performing mobile website okay now here is talking about mobile, right? And we're talking about your your phone, right? When are people able to download maybe an app or something in their in their phone, right? And and someone I think Jennifer mentioned about pharmacy, the a pharmacy, right? Now there are some pharmacies 
that you can download the app and it gives you all the products, right? I think San Nicolas or something like that. They give you all, yeah, they give you all the products and the prices and you just click the name you want, whether it's shampoo, whether it's medicine, whether it's anything of that nature and it comes up and it gives you the exact price and discounts or whatever, right? So it's always good to have also a backup, not just through the website, but maybe an app where people can download it on their mobile phones. Okay, uh, let's continue with the next one. Let me, let me go here. All right, the last two I'm going to call on. Um, let me see. Teacher. Yeah. Huh? I want to participate. All right, great. Go ahead, Abigail. Thank you. Teacher, okay. I would like to, to participate in the last. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I will not stop you, Abigail and uh, Carlos. Thank you. Okay, tip number seven. Get more involved within your community. Chambers of commerce, local networking groups, Main Street organizations and countless other locally minded groups offer terrific ways to connect with other business owners, community leaders, and customers. All right, very good. So here we're talking about get more involved with your community, right? Now, when we're talking about community, we're talking about networking groups, Main Street organizations. These are like uh, different types of uh, maybe not syndicate, not in that way, right? It's just like different groups that participate within the community to help businesses or get involved in participating and say, you know what, that company is a good company and that company is not, they treat us bad, so let's not go over there. So it's always, it's always good to get involved with your community so you can become recognized, recognized. A lot of companies, a lot of, yes? Excuse me, what is the meaning of chambers? Ah, chambers of commerces, right? Chambers of commerces, right? This is, this is similar to um, Cámara de Comercio? Cámaras de Comercio, that's what it means, right? Okay. If I'm not mistaken, right? Si no me equivoco, I think that's what it means. Maybe someone can look it up and tell me. Si alguien lo puede buscar y si me equivocado, please tell me. But uh, en mi punto de vista es Cámaras de Comercio, Chambers of Commerce. Las Cámaras de Comercio, si alguien me lo puede verificar ahí, please tell me, right? Freddy's or Abigail, can you look it up and tell me if I'm correct or I'm incorrect? Yeah, I have other question. What is the meaning of countless and minded groups? Teacher, you're correct. Yeah. Me, Freddy's? It's correct. ¿Soy correcto? This is Chamber of Commerce. Okay, very good. So, si era lo que dije, Cámara de, de Comercio, right? Thank you. Thank you for verifying me. All right. And, okay, so that's what it means, Abigail. And the other one was? What did you say? Countless. Countless. Okay, these are countless other locally minded groups. All right, these are groups, countless. That means uh, que no hay un número fijo, all right? They're countless, right? Countless yes. means however many people can join, uh, like a committee, como un comité, Abigail. It's like a committee, right? With my okay. minded groups. Remember what we talked about earlier about minded groups, where you think positive, innovation, in the same mentality to progress, helping. In this case, is helping your community. Now, many companies, since we're looking at American standards here, okay? These are American standards, and many locally locally means local right locales no un local como un puesto sino que un local en región 
all right? In region, cerc cercanos de las, de las comunidades. That's what it means by locally. Don't think of it like a, a place. It's an area. Okay, so what happens here is a lot of companies or organizations get involved that, for example, let me an example, um, um, Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Yes. Since you asked this question, in your area, in your local area, in su area local, ahí donde usted vive, cerca, mm -hmm. and what is the biggest company, cuál es, or the biggest business there? ¿Cuál es el negocio o compañía que está ahí por donde usted vive? Walmart Constitución. Ah, all right, Walmart, right? Okay, so you have a Walmart right around your community, right, Abigail? Yes? Yes. Okay, now, has Walmart, alguna vez Walmart ha pronunciado públicamente que como están allí, since they're there, que van a ayudar a la comunidad alrededor? Abigail? Mm, no. No, I right? I didn't hear about right. it. Yeah, right? That, that's here. But in the United States, many companies that, they feel like, okay, agarramos el dinero de toda esta comunidad. Right? Let's help something at the end of the year. They go and, and maybe help out community, help out on the cleaning the streets. And they say, we as Walmart are helping the community. Y ya se pronuncia, right? So they get involved with the community. That's what this topic is in re reference to. Okay? I know we don't okay. see it here, right? Aquí no se ve mucho, but it, over there you see it a lot. Um, no, you can see it. In yeah. Cajutla, there's a cementera regional. They help um, poor people. They give, um, what's a, let's say, the, let's say the primary grocery stores. Mm, okay, very good, right? Yes. Now, it happens, right? It happens. Um, it doesn't happen as much, but it happens, right? Just like Freddy said, yeah, there, there's some companies here in San Miguel that I see every now, or universities, right? that they go out and they help the community, right? I have other examples. Okay. Uh, have you seen about the activities that uh, TELUS does in Santa Tecla? Santa Tecla, they, uh, TELUS does different uh, community activities and volunteers oh, yes. with the same employees. Exactly, and that's what and that's what this is referring to, right? Now imagine, imagine, Freddy, Abigail, imagine, imagínense, or the whole class, imagine if every big company, si todas las empresas grandes hicieran eso. Ooh, right? Yeah. Imagine if all these companies, Freo, Bidri, uh, uh, what is the other, Papa John, Pizza Hut, Right? All these big companies que se ven en la televisión. We, right? Aquí estamos, right? We're helping the community. Imagine how much recognition they would get. Imagine that, okay? Imagine what uh, Teles does. Imagine what Freddy just mentioned about the other one, Acajutra. Imagine if everyone did that. <sighs> I, think, I think they will gain more. Yo pienso que ganarían más, right? more income than what they actually do, right? So this is what they're referring to. And you see this a lot in many, uh, many companies in, in, in the United States. Okay, let's continue with number eight. And the last one is going to be Carlos, right? Okay, teacher. Yes, tip number eight. Know your customer better. Business of all size can take responsibility for knowing their customers well enough. After all, customers change over time. Okay, businesses. Yes, it, businesses. All right, very is good. The, that's, so the tip is like, for example, when you want to get a new electrical service, they they give you a, gives you a, some letter that the name is know your customer. Yes. Exactly, right? Know your customer. It's always good to be to be knowledgeable 
of who your customers are, right? And take them into account. Like I think it was, um, was it Fabio? Hello, Fabio. Hello. All right. This goes into account with what you were talking about, right? That they took immediate action when there was a dilemma with your movie or whatever, right? They took action and you remember that, right? That's so, right. So this is, this is what we're talking about. Like Carlos said, also the letters and getting to know your customer better. When you know the customer and you can see that they're having a bad time or they're frustrated or something in that is not right, they, they give you something, they give you a good offer or an alternative to make you feel better. And this is what it relates to tip number eight. Okay, these are all business tips. These are all business tips. All right, let's, um, let's continue. And let's do a little bit of, uh, I think I want y'all to speak. I'm going to skip this. We can do this on Monday. All right. Sure, I, I, yes. I want to give my opinion about the last tips. Okay, this one. Uh, yes, I agree with those tips because nowadays uh, the most of the people uh, search online the business. So if a business doesn't have a good website or if a business doesn't have presence online, it's similar that the business doesn't exist. Um, what else? Uh, regarding to the uh, mobile navigation, I think uh, is is necessary for a business because the most of the people nowadays use a, a smartphone. Um, the most of the people nowadays also search uh, anything from a smartphone. So if in a smartphone, a business doesn't have a good experience, uh, the most probably thing is that the customer uh, can go to other business or to other websites. So the website uh, needs to be really complete and have good content, all the necessary information um, yes, I have the experience that I have bought um, subscription uh, because the product, the platform offers really good content in internet, also offer a uh, good community. And I think that kind of things influence a lot uh, in the customers. Yes, that is absolutely true, right? That is absolutely true. It's, it's always, in nowadays technology is, is like, it's a must, right? It's a must. Now, um, Abigail, can you pronounce this word? Abigail? Mobile. Okay, mobile, mobile. Mobile. Mo yes, oh, very mobile. good. All right, very good. All right, excellent. Yes, and you are correct. You are correct with with your analysis. And since I heard Freddy's, Abigail, and some uh, Jennifer, and I think it was Janari and Carlo, some of you give some good opinions, Fabio also. I want to put you in groups. I'm going to change this. I was going to do this, right? But no, I'm going to change, I'm going to change the agenda. I'm going to do a speaking activity, all right? And I want you to share, all right? I'm going to write the instructions.
Okay. I have written this here. This is the these are the instructions. All right. This is going to be speaking. Speaking only. No writing, no taking notes or sending me information. No. This is going to be your personal experience. All right. Your own personal experiences. Just like Fabio mentioned earlier and some of you, right? And about you remember those because you you felt good, right, Fabio? When they told you we're going to, right? So you never forget that, right? So when you pass through that, that movie theater, you will never forget that good deed, right? I call that a good deed, right? A good deed. Es una buena obra. Uh, la humilde, right? It's a good deed. Humility, right? If you want to use another adjective, the the humility, you know, you can, you feel good, you feel recognized, you feel like they, they gave you a solution to your problem, right, Fabio? All right, now, and some of you share some different stories, but this is what I want you to do. Can you read, please, um, Edwin, can you read the instructions? Yes, teacher. Share your ideas about three good or excellent experiences you have had when visiting a business. Share three bad ones, speaking only. Good All right. Deal. All right. I'm going to take this. All right. Speaking only, right? Now, it goes for the same thing. Without me writing again, share uh, lo mismo aquí. It's just, this is what I want in the positive, and then three bad ones, right? Three bad ones. How many of you, it could be a restaurant, all right? So you can you can include restaurant, you can include a grocery store, um, right? For example, have you ever gone to a store y le cobraron como cinco dólares más por algo and you're like, hey, what's going on, right? I had that problem already and it was like, I was surprised, right? And they did it right in front of me. I mean, propios ojos, they did it, right? And I was like, come on, man. You can't charge me $12 for un, un pan de queso así. $12, right? When it was $3.99, right? And they charged me $12, right? And so... Teacher. Yes? Was it on Maxi Despensa? No, it was in Walmart. Uh, in Maxi Despensa, they used to do that, too. Yeah, uh, they call them torta de queso. It comes with some cheese inside, like that. They're that big, right? And it was like three ninety nine or something. They charged me twelve dollars, right? And I was like, "Come on, really?" <laughs> and she was about to take my credit card, right? And I'm just looking at her, right? And you know, I'm mirando, like, I'm not gonna give you my credit card. I say, "You really think I'm gonna pay twelve dollars for that uh, the sweet bread?" And she looked and she goes, oh, oh, right. <laughs> but anyways, those are like bad experiences on my behalf, but I've also had some good ones, right? I have some great experience where, and also I'm, I, want to, I want to share something with you, okay? I have had bad experiences in restaurants, but I have also had good experiences in restaurants. And you know what I do? When I have good customer service, cuando yo tengo una buena atención al cliente, when they, when they really acknowledge me that I'm there in the table, right? And I'm about to eat and they come, everything good, right? And yeah, right? You know what I do? I tip them. Yo le doy el tip, right? But I also go farther than that. Yo voy más allá, right? I go to the manager or the supervisor and I tell them, and compliment the worker, right? And I tell him, you know what? You you have a great worker here. If I own a restaurant, I would like a, a worker like him or her. And they're like, oh, right? They feel good. So sometimes it's always to make other people feel good also, right? When they do good things for you. So this is what I want you to share with, with your classmates. I want you to share those ideas, good ones and bad ones and tell what happened, just like Fabio did earlier, similar, all right? 
very good emphasis. I really liked your your input there. So any questions? I'm going to put you in groups. Any questions of the activity? No questions? No questions, teacher. Okay, great. I'm going to put you here. I'm going to put you in three, but I'm going to All right. Break our rooms. Okay, some of you are going to be I have two that will not. Okay, I have to assign it manually because I have some here that will not that can't participate right now. So, okay, Abigail, Beatriz, and Blanca, you're going to one. Uh, Carlos, Edwin, and Glenda, you're going in room two. Flor, Fedis, and Juan Jose. Keep going to room three. Iris, Francisco, and Jennifer, you're going to room four. Five, Fabio, Rolando. In January. Okay. And Jack. Okay. You ready? One, two, three. Breakout rooms, please, and have a great conversation.
is a um, is a company that I visit uh, if I want to. Sophie, préstame la la. To inscribir is in Spanish. El cargador. Um, a house, for example. If you visit there in the afternoon, about. 3 p.m. or 3 30 uh, close to to today had to to out the work yeah. <laughs> they don't even attend I'm surprised you. because they attend very quickly different I, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's different if you go in the morning yeah in the morning they have the they, they took they take the the time that they want yes yes and it's more it's more it's longer the the wait i think yes i had a about to another to another gas station, but actually there is no near uh, gas stations uh, from where I work, so I have to I have to go to the same gas stations. So that, that happens to me to 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 today. So remember, if you go to a supermarket or you, or you do something that it's very important for you guys, save the ticket because they don't want you happen that that will happen to me today. <laughs> yes, I have a problem with with you. Like same with you, but mm -hmm. with Tigo, with Tigo, there is some problem because the people that bring me the service, mm -hmm. uh, I don't found where is the the, the the ticket. <laughs> I don't found it. I don't found it. And yeah, but actually, are... it's a require. It's, it's a require. If you want to change something, you, you need to. Uh, you need to demonstrate that you buy it right there, so you need the ticket to change it. No. Yeah. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. uh, when, when I bought the, the for example, a brown, they change the product if the product is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They. Receipt. Yeah, it's true. The receipt, because Re ticket Re is ticket. I think ticket is when uh. When you receive a, a, a una multa. Yes, okay. When you're uh, talking about purchasing or buying a product, uh -huh. whenever you go to try to re return it or return it. damage or and you want to get a exchange, you it's have to... Factura. Uh -huh, es la factura, the receipt. Receipt, the receipt that's true. Right? When, yeah. uh, when we can use invoice. Okay, invoice. It's more when you're talking about in the business. It's como un mem un invoice. No, no es. It's not used. That word is not used for uh, when you buy something in the store. Okay, an invoice can be something. It can be either in writing within the company. An invoice is. It could be services. Los servicios que proporcionó, por ejemplo, um, Carlos, right? He was talking about Tigo, right? Yes. And an invoice could be what is written in a paper que dice lo que hicieron cuando fueron a la casa o el, de Carlos. That's an invoice, right? Now, an invoice can also be used as a... a it's like contract is. Yes, yes, all right, but not the receipt. Receipt is específicamente el recibo o la factura, all right? The, the document. Yes, the exact, that shows the price, all right? Now, an invoice, they might have the price in it, but they don't say the word invoice when you go to the store and you want to return it, lo quiere regresar o cambiar. When you want to change your, they ask you for the receipt, not the invoice. It's similar, Glenda, but they're not the same. Okay, thank you. Okay? Yeah. 
All right. Th thank you, teacher. All right. Teacher. This is this is what you will use as most common. And, yes, that's true. All right. Now, an invoice is almost a veces an invoice is a bill. Glenda. También. The bill. An invoice. Have you ever received, usted ha recibido eh, que tiene que pagar algo y le cae la casa? Um, yeah, for example, like, like Google. Yeah, all right. So, mm, in physical form or digital, right? Uh, for, the, for the, example, the receipt for, like, claro. I yeah. normally see for, the invoice in and... my work. Okay. So, but, but the transaction in the company for the service, for example, license, license of uh, any software. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why I mentioned here services with an invoice. Yeah. It tiene un número de invoice, right? At the corner or something, and you put it there. But this is an invoice. So, just like Linda mentioned, the invoice is used. Inside the company, all right? Inside the company. It's a little bit different. Aquí también los invoices se lo mandan al cliente también, right? But in the factura is called a receipt if you go to the store. Receipt. The bill, vaya. Bill. Es también la factura aquí, right? Uno le dice, I don't know why we use it, right? Ya te cayó la factura, right? Oh, but, but la factura, they're both the same words, but in English, they're different. El bill es lo que El tiene... El mandamiento de pago. Exactamente. Lo que oh. tiene que pagar uno. And the receipt... Es de lo que uno está comprando, ¿verdad? Lo que ya pagó. Lo que ya pagó. Yes. All right. El comprobante de pago. Exactly, right? The receipt, usted ya pagó. El okay. bill, es que nomás le ha llegado ese recibo. El recibo, pues como rego, llegó el recibo de luz. Right? The bill. Uh -huh. The bill and the receipt. The bill means you haven't paid. Nomás que le cae, right? Uh -huh. But the receipt is when you already pay y te dan el comprobante. Uh -huh. Qué importante saber esto. Yes. Yes. Oh. Ticket, no. <laughs> no. Yes. Ticket, yes. Ticket, yes. no. Ticket, yeah. no. Ticket, no. Aquí dice ticket, right? Dice cuando uno, ticket, a veces be like, what do you mean by ticket, right? Yeah. Yes. Like the parking. Yeah, it's like ticket or when you go buy something at the store, right? A ticket of crédito fiscal, right? Or factura. factura. I'm like, in cash. <laughs> pero, pero, yeah. pero, 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 pregúntele, Carlos, bien me entendió. Uh -huh. que, que yeah. Cuando yo decía ticket. Yes, right? yes, 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 I understand. Ticket, ticket, is, uh, ticket se usan como, eh, eh, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Como las esquelas. Yes, for a esquela, <laughs> right, by, by the police, or... <laughs> And they say, I got a ticket, right? I got a esquela. <laughs> or eh, when you go to a movie theater, when you go see a movie, mm -hmm. le dan como un, un ticket. Ese sí es un ticket, right? Ah, oh, okay. Es, eh, como un papelito ahí, right? Ticket, right? That's a ticket, right? That's a ticket. O cuando va a un carnival, al carnaval, que se va a subir a las ruedas, that's a ticket. Do you have your ticket? Y le da usted el ticket rojito, right? Or different colors. De la rueda de aquí de agosto, de la <laughs> Yeah, there you go, Glenda. <laughs> so those are tickets, all right? Those are tickets, all right? But okay. this is a little bit. Good cute. examples. <laughs> yes, all right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for teaching us. No problem. That's why, that's why I'm here. All right. Good help you.
Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had good conversations with your classmates, good productive speaking, dealing with business, right? And it's already 10 o'clock. So I'm going to take the, I said for another dos horas, right? The last the two hours are gone. So I'm going to take the uh, final attendance. And let me see. All right. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Beatriz. Present. All right. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Okay, Brenda. Do I see you connected here? Yes. Okay. Carlos. I'm here present with you. Okay, thank you. Diana. Okay, you're here. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present teacher. All right, great. Flor. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, great. Fredis. I'm here teacher. All right. Glenda. Present teacher. All right, let me see. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. I'm here. Okay, great. Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, he never connected, right? Okay, zero. All right, Jennifer. Is here. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. I am here. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Okay, Miguel, he didn't connect either. Okay, zero. Let me see, Roberto, I mean, Fabio. Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando. Hello, hello. All right, thank you. And Janari. I'm here. All right, great. Okay, class, you have a great weekend and the only one that stays is uh, Beatriz. All right, Beatriz stays today. For the extra 10 minutes, everyone else, you have a great weekend. Take care, have fun, and enjoy. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye, Bye Thank teacher. you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank Enjoy you. Weekend. Have a nice weekend. Good night. You too. See you, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. All right. Thank you for teaching me, teacher. No problem, Carlos. It was a pleasure helping you. See you Monday. Hello, Beatriz. Hi. Nice background. It's very relaxing back there. Yes, <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> Why not, right? I can't do that anymore. I used to do it, right? And now I can't. Right? Okay. I, can't. I used to put all kinds of movements, right? Different things. And uh, I can't, we can't no more, right? Ya no pudimos. <laughs> we, okay. have to have, we have to have that background, right? Well, yeah. Business oriented, right? So how okay. are you, Beatriz? I'm very nice, teachers. Okay. I have a lot of activities in my work, but I finish. All right. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Great. So um, what would you like to talk about? Uh, I would like to talk about either and neither. I remember I saw this topic last a, a long time. <laughs> I don't remember very well. And sometimes when I speak in English and somebody say something negative or positive, I forget is neither or so do I, do I, I, I had a, a confusion a confusion about that and I could lie uh, uh, I could lie to to get a, a clear idea about about that so I wonder if you like to explain me a little bit about that okay All right. So were you talking about neither and either, right? Yes. Neither and either. Okay. Now, when we talk about neither and either, um, 
we're talking about negatives, okay? When we are when we're talking about negatives. And I'm going to give you some let me see. I can probably give you some some examples, all right? When you say Remember, neither and neither are are negatives. Okay, negatives. Okay, when you agree, cuando está usted de acuerdo. All right. Now, if I say, Beatriz, I am, remember, negatives. Right? If if I say, I am not happy, just to give you an example. I am not happy, pero usted está de acuerdo conmigo en esa negatividad. How would you say it? Neither I am or either I am. All right. It's the same either and neither. All right. Yes, right. Neither am I. Neither am I. Okay. I am not happy. Neither am I. I have changed. Let me. Let me. Verb is first and after is the pron personal pronoun. Okay. Now, I'm going to write it for you, but I say it's a fast. Okay? okay. To be more uh, visual. Right? Hey, okay. understand me? Where is my pen? All right. All right. So if I say, this is when you agree with someone, como le dije, in a negative way. Right. So if I say I didn't, digamos que trabajamos juntos, Beatriz. Okay, and I tell you, ah, Beatriz, I didn't finish. I didn't finish the inventory, an inventario, digamos, right? Terminos, work term, work term, right? I didn't finish my inventory. Y usted dice, ah, ni yo tampoco. Neither do I. Mm, uh -huh. Neither. No, neither, neither did I. Excellent, right? So, ¿qué pasó aquí? You used neither did I. Okay. Is Neither the, did, now, it the sense if I say it, no. it, did I? Okay. Mm, repeat it again, Patrice. It it we it it we it will be good if I say either did I? Either no. Either no. Mm -mm. Either, para el final, Beatriz, because at the end, neither comes at the beginning. Okay? Neither comes at the beginning. So you can take note. Be at the beginning. At the beginning, and then neither. Okay? Now. Entonces, cuando mutar el either, right? El either viene al final. It comes at the end. And I'm going... Vamos a ver, just you. I didn't finish the inventory. Mm, I didn't either. Mm, I didn't. You can say I didn't either, right? You can say it that way also. All right. Yes, I didn't either. Viene después del verbo. After the verb, either. Or you can say, I didn't finish either, okay? But it comes after the auxiliary, all right? Siempre va a venir después de un verbo either. Okay. And it comes at the end. Aquí es la nota. Esta es la clave. At the end. At the end, you put either. Neither comes at the beginning. Either comes at the end, but they both mean 
negative. They, they both refer to a, a negation. And you always use, Beatriz, you always, I'm going to write, esta es la clave, always use the same auxiliary. Okay? Or verb. Or main verb. Okay? Puede ser el verb to be, it could be a helping verb, or it could be just um, a negation. In this case, el can, como el modo verb. Well, no, verbo sí. Can, could, right? You can use those. Pero I'm going to give you more examples, okay? For practice. Okay. So if I say, notice here. Ah, otra cosa. When you say neither at the beginning, you do not. No va a poner en lo negativo aquí. Mire aquí. Aquí sí. Aquí sí, porque el either viene al final. Esos son como las reglas. Those are like the rules that you must understand for the usage. Usage. Okay? Now, if I say... Mm, she... Um, I'm going to use another verb. Um, uh, she is not hungry. So if I say, um, Beatriz, hey, she is not hungry. I'm going to put a name, but I know that's solo subject pronouns. Voy a poner, what name do you want me to put, Beatriz? Mm, Susana. Okay, Susana. Beatriz, Susana is not hungry. The men neither? Neither. Mm -hmm. Neither is. ¿De quién estamos hablando ahora? Neither, neither, she. No. Is. Remember that. Si, yo lo, si alguien le dice, Susana is not hungry, y usted va a responder. A mí. Ajá, pero ¿cómo lo va a decir aquí? Neither am I. Eso. Why did you use M? ¿Por qué utilizó el M? Because we are by is. Very good, because it's the verb to be here, right? Verb to be. So you have to respect the same rule, but you have to apply it to yourself. All right? Now, neither am I, right? Now, Beatriz, let's say... Uh, let's say I use another one. All right, ahora dígame... El either. Susana is not hungry. Okay. I'm not hungry. Okay. Then. Okay, I'm. I'm not hungry either. Yes, oh, very good. Good job. You see, either at the end, and when you use, when you still say either, Tiene que usar lo negativo. You have to use negative. When you okay. use neither, you don't. You just go straight to the verb and your object, right? At the your end. Subject. Yeah, neither am I. You use subjects, right? Neither am I. Now, eh, if we say, digamos que seamos tres ahorita. Okay, Susana's not hungry. Y usted ya me dijo, neither am I, right? Y si tenemos aquí a José. Y usted quiere responder por él, digamos. Let's say you want to answer for him. We aren't hungry either. Okay, that's in, 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 in group. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can, you can say yes, we, we aren't, we aren't, we are hungry. not hungry, or we aren't hungry, 
either, either right? Yes, all right. That's when you se van a unir los dos a decir we, right? Pero si nomás fuera él, using either. He isn't hungry either. Okay, very good. He isn't hungry either. Very good. Yeah, great. All right, let me see. What about if I say this? Remember, you have to speak for yourself also. All right. So if I say, I neither neither can I. Yes. Uh, very good. Very good. Or um I can't play either. I can't play either. Very good. Very good. Now you see the yeah. structure, neither comes first, no negative here. Either at the end, negative here. And we're using the same auxiliary verb, right? Can, right? Okay. Can't, can't. In this case, can't. There you go, Beatriz. A little bit better? A little bit better. better. All better right, great. Because I was a little confused, bit confused. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Now, eh, eh, y si hablamos de ellos, estamos que usted diga, ni ellos tampoco, right? Um, Using neither? Neither can then. Mm? Neither can then. They. They. Yes. All right. Remember, we're using the subject Neither I. Kate. If it's yes. them, I can use it me. Right? But yes. if I, we use they. Okay? Now. Yes. Ahora with either. Um, they can play either. Very good. They can play either. Excellent. Very good. Now you see. All right, maybe you can write this down, but no, que no one got them, right? They. All they. Right? All right, neither can we, neither can they, right? Neither can he, neither can she, neither can I. Yes. Okay? Very good, Beth. Thank you for asking me this, right? It was a Thank pleasure you. helping you, right? Thank you, teacher. <laughs> I really appreciate, appreciate your explanation. So I have a, a clear idea about this topic. Okay, great. And just remember the rule, right? This one yes. comes at the end and this one comes at the beginning. And when this one comes at the end, you use the negative. When we use neither, you do not use negative. Okay, only the auxiliary verb. And then the subject. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, Thank you for your time. All right. If you notice here also, Beatriz, when you use neither, a subject viene aquí. At the end. And then when you use either, the subject comes at the beginning. Okay. And then neither here and either here. All right. Okay. All right. It was a pleasure helping you, and uh, I was, I'm happy to answer your question. Thank you, teacher. I no really love your time and your explanation. All right. Great. Thank you. Okay. See you Monday. You have a great weekend, Beatriz. Good night. Yes. Have a nice weekend, teacher. Okay. Bye. Bye bye.